protection of the planet is not a single event, it's a series of events. One of them is practically when you identify that something is going wrong with the data. At that time, I didn't think at all it was a planet. I just found something was wrong and I had to better sort it out. Um, and then after some times, it continues to be wrong and it becomes so wrong that you have to find out maybe it's not wrong at all, maybe it's a planet. And then you have to convince yourself it is the only way to explain this data. Detecting planet is, is quite difficult because the planet is so close to, to something which is so bright, so you get blind when you want to see a planet. So you have to use trick to find planets. And one of the trick we're using is when there is a planet orbiting its star, there is something going on on the stars. And, and practically the star is wobbling, changing, changing locations a little bit. And uh, what we could do is we, can, we could track the change of the speed of the star. The speed is quite easy to measure because we could use what is called the Doppler effect, which is the slight change of the, of the wavelength of the color of the stars. So you use this to detect a change of the speed and, uh, and then from this you can get uh, if there is something orbiting the stars. In another case we see what's called an eclipse, which is the time the planet goes in front of the stars, making a small shadow in the light of the stars. And from this we can learn a lot about, about, about exactly the, the mass of the planet, the size of the planet, and even further we can even learn something on the atmosphere on some of these planets. We know that there are about half of the star with small planets and, uh, and there is a fraction of these small planets that kind of look like the Earth but we have not found yet what's called an Earth twin, that is a planet that is exactly the mass, the size and the orbit of the Earth. And one of the questions behind when you find a planet like the Earth is what is the prospect of life and what is the prospect that we are alone in the universe? Um, and that's a tremendous question, I think, it's very profound. Well, my understanding is very unlikely. At least it's not the way you, you've grown up as a physicist, because you tend to believe that anything you have here is the same elsewhere. So the kind of being unique doesn't fit into the, the rule of physics. Um, but still, if you want to understand life, um, well, we know there is life here. It's, it's boring, in a way. If you want to understand what is the minimum condition for life, what happens, so you have to compare with similar other planets. So I think behind this is the life issue, uh, how likely it is to get life. Then the question is, what does it mean life? Um, well, the kind of consensus these days is, is uh, uh, water, carbon, oxygen is, is, uh, is, is very basic element you find everywhere. There is no something specific here. And according to what we've seen on, on, on the Earth, is, is very simple life uh, seems to be easy to start. But maybe moving from life to something like us is extremely rare. And uh, maybe we're the only one on the galaxy. And, and then, of course, there's always question about, OK, what about life that will be different? Is it possible to have a life that we just don't detect and we don't see on Earth? Well, um, predicting the future in science is, uh, is a very difficult exercise. We know the equipment that will be available soon, and we have a fantastic machine which is called the James Webb Space Telescope. That will be a kind of a Hubble Space Telescope, but with bigger mirror, with bigger capability. And, um, and with this, if we have the right target, we may be able to analyze some of the atmosphere of these small planets with the secret hope to detect uh, interesting molecules. So what are interesting molecules for us? Well, one of them is water. The other one uh, could be a uh, complex uh, carbon-oxygen molecule, and then ozone could be also very exciting there. And anything that can tell you that there is something going on in the atmosphere, in a way that it is out of equilibrium. Life is, is something that, that affects the, the kind of steady state of the atmosphere of a planet. So anything that would tell you there is something going on would be interesting and maybe one day we'll send very tiny probe 100 grams probes there to take some picture come back and according to the progress that we have experienced in in the last 20 years i think there is, there is a lot to hope in the next 20 years coming it, clearly the detections of other planets like the earth and possibly some hint that there is some interesting species in the atmosphere of some of these planets 
I, I must admit, any time I find a planet and other stars, even if right now I should have found more than 200 planets, I feel like a child because it's like every, every time it's a, it's a surprise. It's a new system and I keep being surprised. And I used to joke with people asking me about sci-fi movie. I, I all told them, I mean, the, the reality is far more exciting and diverse than any sci-fi movie you can have imagined. And, uh, and I feel very fortunate and being surprised like that. And I think this is, this is the purpose of science. So now I think I understand what I did 20 years ago. <laughs>